Hello everyone, what's up? How are you doing? Hope you are good. It's Angela Ayat today. You this year, aka Double T, as you know it, and you're welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're just seeing my face for the first time, you're welcome. I love you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hitting that button to click this video. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate. And because we said something for you guys in the last video, we're gonna say for you guys again. So shall we? We are happy people, yes, we love you, you are welcome. We are happy people, yes, we love you, you are welcome. You're welcome to the channel, we love you, we are happy you came by. So please hit that subscribe button down below and the bell right beside it so you stay notified. Once I drop a new video, you'll be the first to see it. Alright, so it's my real number two for members. You guys, you know what we do, right? Let's go. And you tell me about one of your share Hey, le 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 she wa eh eh it's a me baoni yo she wa eh le 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 she wa eh it's a me how you guys do hope you guys are good hope you guys are smashing your goals as i say hope you guys are doing well did you miss me because i missed you guys too like i said in my last video i discovered that most of my subscribers sorry most of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel please why are we having over 200 views and we're having less than 100 subscribers why <laughs> please hit the subscribe button down below. Please help my market. Help my market. Like, we make this video. The only way you can appreciate us and tell us thank you is just to subscribe. Guess what? It is so free. You don't have to pay anything to subscribe. Just hit that red button that is down here. Hit that red button that is down here and so and the bell right beside it so you stay notified. Once I drop a new video, you'll be the first to see it. I'm begging you guys. Please, 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 please subscribe. Please, I beg you. <laughs> subscribe, 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 please. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment in the comment section. And yes, without any further ado, let's start this video, shall we? Alright, so on WhatsApp and Instagram, I asked you guys to send me questions you'd like to know about me because I was going to do a QA video, which is this video. Ask my next video. And some of you, Oblige some of the sends me questions and I'm going to be answering those questions alongside some questions I got on internet. Yeah, before I continue, let me just add that. Yes, I know we've changed background. This is not a regular background if you've been following me for a while. Well, yeah, guys is back to school. You have to school to finish alive as a student in Babcock University. So that is why there's this change of whatever. I know my background is distracting a little bit. I really hope I can blur the background so you guys can focus on me, focus your attention on me. But either ways, whether the background is blur or the background is not blur, focus your attention on me. Can you do that? Thank you. All right. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a Q&A video as you've seen from the thumbnail and yeah, let's get right into it. You want to know about me? I'm excited to tell you about me. Shall we? Let's go. So the first question I'm going to be answering is what is your full name? What is your full name? My full name is Angele Ayesunde Eunice. I am Iku Oluwa Fade Kemi Oluwa Nifemi Lois B. Odu. Yeah, I know that seems like too many names for just one person. But this is this. I think this is a reduce the number of names they give children. I no, it's like if not. But yeah, any other name I have aside that. I don't know them, but those are the ones I know. Follow me, those names. Yes. So Beardy was given to me by my grandpa. He is and Lois is definitely from my dad. I don't know about the rest. I think maybe a joint agreement between my dad and my mom gave me the other names. But yeah, it is what it is. I think I actually also was from my dad because like I remember one story he told. He said how we. He told the story of how we spoke my name into my ears before they gave me the name on the eighth day seventh and the eighth day you guys get the points so yeah um so i have seen it's definitely for my dad as well this ones i know so well next question are you named after anyone well i would say i was named after anyone but i would say my name actually was given to me as a remembrance of someone if that makes sense yes i know he is and though it was given to me by my dad as a remembrance of his mom like if you know my dad so well you know he speaks so well and so highly of his mom like even in that he still speaks so well of her so he loves her so much and i guess he decided to name me after her not name me after her but give me names that in a way reminds him of ah i hope that makes sense yes and before you ask me which names remind him of her tunis and lois if you know 
of the story of Timothy in the Bible. Timothy, um, mom and grandmom were named Eunice and Lois, and my dad is Timothy. I'm Eunice and Lois. Does that make sense to you? So I'm like a mother and a grandmother to my dad. Technically. Next question. When was the last time you cried? Um, I guess the last time I cried would be when I think the day my brother was going back to school. Ah uh, no, I did not cry because he was going back to school. Before you guys start thinking I miss you that much. Shay, I don't miss you so much. I don't miss you that much. Don't come attack me yourself. I cried because when he was going back to school, it felt like my YouTube channel was from me, like that was the end of YouTube for me. I would not want to go into details, but yeah. Something happened that day, that morning, and yeah, I cried and well, we're still on YouTube, so yeah. Next question, do you have any kids? If no, how many kids do you plan to have? Do I have any kids? Obviously not. Except the ones that I don't know of, that maybe you, you born for me. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> but anyways, no, I don't have any kids. And how many do I plan to have? Two. If I do a change, TV. After that TV, full stop. Yes. Two. So, after that two, maybe if I do a shade, TV. After that TV, full stop. Yes. And I would actually love to have twins. So, yeah, two kids. And if I do a shade, like I said, three kids and full stop. Next question. If you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? Hell yes. Like, have you met me? Like, have you, have you, have you, have you met me? Like, hello, hello, hello. hello? Like, why, 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 <laughs> like, why, why would I be a friend of myself? Have you met me? Like, 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 all this goodness, all this awesomeness in one person. Yes, 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 I will be a friend of myself over and over. Hello? Yeah? Why would I be a friend of me? All this awesomeness in my films. I'm a good friend. Ask my friends, they'll tell you. So yeah, I'll be a friend of myself. Next question. Next question. Do you use sarcasm a lot? Yes, I do. But well, it takes people who understand and can relate to sarcasm to understand that. But yes, I use sarcasm a lot. Next question. What's the first thing you notice about anyone? I know a lot of people will say their shoes and all of that. Seriously, it depends on where I meet you. I don't necessarily meet you your shoe first. For some people, it's their sense of humor because I'm someone that I love a good laugh. I love someone that can make me laugh. <laughs> so yeah, if you are a very funny person, most likely the first thing about you is your sense of humor. And then the next thing, now, when people ask this question, a lot of people tend to answer this question on, oh, someone is coming to you, like the way Nollywood used to do it. Someone is coming to you. And then, yeah, obviously, if someone is walking towards you, most likely the first thing you will notice about the person is their shoes but in a situation where you are like at a wedding with someone and you guys maybe sat close to each other would you notice their shoe first obviously not so it depends on where how when we met but most likely i will notice your sense of humor the way you dress and the way you speak first before any other thing yes except you're walking towards me like nodding with something and i might notice your shoe but yeah Next question. Next question. What's your eye color? <laughs> I guess you've seen the answer to that. My eye color is black. I guess. Except you guys are saying something else. Next question. Scary movie or happy endings? I'm not a fan of scary movies, so definitely not scary movies. Happy endings, please. Next question. Favorite smell. I really don't understand the meaning of that question, so I'll just pass. Next question. Next question. What's the farthest you've been from home? Well, that would be when I went to Eloring for my A level program. So, yeah, that's, I think I stayed for like over a year there. So, yeah, that's like the farthest I've been from home. Aside that, it's just coming to Babcock for four years and going back home for four years. <laughs> Aside that, it's just coming to back home for four months and going back home for four months, and yeah. So, the fires I've been from home was my A level days. Yeah, next question. Next question How was your stay in Babcock? Anything you would miss after graduation? Well, I'm still in Babcock, so 
I guess the question is how was your stay been in Bapo? Well, so far it's been a lot of things. It's been fun, it's been annoying on some days, it's been frustrating on some days. It's been everything you would get from a school. Do you understand? Like when you go to uni, especially in university in Nigeria, everything you would get from a university in Nigeria is what we've gotten here to an extent. So the way you would feel is the way I'm feeling. The way you would feel is the way I'm feeling right now. So yeah, that's it. Alright, so um the next question. Anything I would miss after graduation? Well, I'll miss tofu to be honest. I'll miss eating tofu. So eh? No, that was a mistake. I want to say Yamarita. <laughs> I need to miss a third graduation. Yes, I'll miss Yamarita. I would miss friends in school, friends, some friends, some great friends I met in school. Alright, <laughs> sorry. Anything I'll miss a third graduation. Yes, I would miss Yamarita definitely. I'll miss some friends in school. I would miss. Like, these are the things I'm missing about quick university. To be honest, I guess. Any other thing? I don't know. Next question. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know where this question is from. Do you love me enough that you would do anything to keep me? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And you know yourself. So, yeah. Question is yes, I do. Now, next question. Who is your role model and your mentor? Well, I would say my role models are my parents because I get to learn a lot of things from them and they are the closest people I could actually learn from. Aside from my parents, there's some people I actually like admire in my career, like people who have been there long before now. One person I really admire a lot, if you follow me a lot, is Tommy K. Adoye. Like you guys know, I speak so well of that lady. Like I love, 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 love Tommy K. Ah. Bubbling vibe, a happy self just gives me joy. Nina, the soul that takes life as it comes, like you cannot come as stress and you cannot come as die. Next person is CCM. CCM is the reason why I even gained my ground on YouTube. Like I said, YouTube. Um, another person I really admire is Dima Omi. I didn't get it by your show. Like, there's so many people, so many people, so many people. Yeah, that I actually admire in this YouTube community. So, yeah, next question. Let's go. All right, so next question What's your zodiac sign? Do you believe in it? My zodiac, my zodiac sign is Capricorn. I was born January 16th. I don't believe in it. So, next sense, yes. Next question. Next question. Next question. What are your hobbies? I love talking. I love talking. I love traveling. I've not traveled a lot, but. I really love traveling. I love traveling. I love talking. I love taking pictures. I love making videos. I love eating. I love spending money. <laughs> I don't know if you consider all that hobbies, but yeah, these are things I love doing too. I love reading too. And there used to be a time I love writing, but right now I'm a lazy writer. <laughs> well, I'm currently working on something with a friend, so you guys should watch out for it. Okay, that's a spoiler, but yeah. I think I should watch out for it. Something big is coming. Shut it up. Yes. So next question. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. Next question. Do you have any pets? Personal pets? No. I don't even have any. What am I saying? Next question. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a content creator. I want to be a content creator to inspire people. I want to be able to change lives. I want to be a blessing to people. I want to be an OAP, yes, an OAP personality, working TV, working radio. I also want to be a brand and style influencer, a marketer. Like, I want to help you build your brand. I want to do collaborations with brands. And yeah, that's what I want to be. Next question Who was your first best friend? Messi, or you could be. Yeah, this starts the video. This, but yeah, Messi was my best my first. Uh, Messi was my first best friend. So yeah. Um, how tall are you? Very, very tall. Eh? What's up, pa? I know some people bring their eyes. You're tall. You be your tall. But yeah. I'm very tall. Irony. Next question. <laughs> Next question. What's your least favorite thing about yourself? What's your least favorite thing about yourself? Well, if you've asked me this question when I was growing up, I would most likely have mentioned my eyes, my stature. And my forehead. But right now, that's my favorite thing about myself. Like, hello, have you seen my eyes? Hello, have you seen my eyes? Hello, have you seen 
my forehead. <laughs> like those used to be my least favorite things about myself, though. Yeah, my favorite things about myself right now. Or just something I used to wish I was. <laughs> yes, I wish I used to wish I was. Sometimes and every time, I used to wish I was a little, a little, a little, a little, a little bit tall. But I still love the way I am. Honestly, I do. So, next question. Alright, so next question. Funniest moment throughout school? Well, I can't remember any. So let's just pass. Next question. How many countries have you visited? I've been in Nigeria all my life. I've been in Nigeria all my life. So I haven't really visited so many countries. I can't even say so many. I haven't visited any country, but I really can't wait to actually explore the world. Like, I haven't visited any country right now, but trust me, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna tell the world before I leave this earth. So, yeah, I'm going to, I plan to actually tell the world before I leave this earth. So, like, go to as many places as I can go to. Yes, but I've been in Nigeria all my life. I've been in Nigeria all my life. So, next question. What was your favorite or worst subject in high school? Well, I won't say favorite because I never really liked it, but for some reasons, I always passed. And that's government. Funny, it's very funny. I never really liked it, but I've always, like, I've always passed the government. I don't understand how, but yeah. And um, my least favorite would be maths. I would say my worst subject because it wasn't worst for me. It was just, I wasn't just tough. When I was in junior secondary school, yes, it used to be like my favorite subject. But you see, when I got to SS, when life hit me, when reality stepped in, it became my least favorite. So yeah, next question. What's your favorite drink? Um, I I can see some people rolling their eyes. Like people who know me, I can see them in front of my face. I can see people answering this question. Like. <laughs> So people that know me, I can see them answering this question with Pepsi, Pepsi, yeah, Pepsi, Pepsi in the background. <laughs> so yeah, I love Pepsi, I love um, Coke, I love um, Juice, that's Chimita, um, Olandia, and all of that. I love um, I love some drinks, yeah. You understand one drink i never know like because i never really understood that drink i have not understand and i've not understood and i still don't want to understand that drink that's h2o like if you give me that drink i'm gonna hate you if i want to drink water let me drink water don't come and manipulate water and let me call it h2o for me i'm not i don't think i've tasted it and if i've tasted it it means i have a bad impression of the drink but i really don't like it i'm sorry i've already said those who love it but I just i'm just not a fan I don't have any beef against it though, but I cannot use the money to buy it and if somebody give me, I'll give it out. Next question. Favorite animal? Used to be dogs, but we have monsters and dogs in our house, so I don't like them. <laughs> next question. Favorite perfume? I don't think I have any, so next question. What would you or have you named your children? Like I said, I don't have any child, so what would I name my children? I love... I love Inyoluwa. I love that name. Obviously, your brand names. Um, I love Inyoluwa. I might give them English names too, but definitely, definitely yoga names could be more. So I'm not giving them more than one. I love Ini Oluwa. I love Enyoji Oluwa. Apple of God's I. I think I'm going to do a video mentioning yoga names and telling you the meaning. Like my favorite yoga names and the meaning and the reason why I love them. So yeah, I love Ini Oluwa. I love Enyoji Oluwa. Apple of God's I. I love um, Ayo. Hello, 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 hello. I love Ayo. Yeah, Joy. I love. um. Ife Oluwa, God's love. I love Oluwa Tommy Sin. I love Tommy K. <laughs> See, you're playing Sin. Don't worry, for that video. You have a video of me telling you guys your bad names and the reason why I love them. So, yeah, um, yeah, those are names I will most likely give my children. If something comes up, well, I give out to them, then it comes up. But yeah, those are names in my mind right now. So, next question What sports do you play or have you played? To be honest, I've not really been so much of a sports person. So, I don't know. If you know any sports I've played, please tell me because I don't know. Next question. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I'm so excited about this question because the list is long. We're going to shorten the list. Some of my favorite YouTubers. Hello? Let's go. Shall we? Shall we? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Some of my favorite YouTubers. The list is both Nigerian and non Nigerian YouTubers. Like, YouTubers in Nigeria, sorry. I can't say my daddy's car. <laughs> Sorry, but it's definitely not. 
so yeah um i'm going to be mentioning both nigerian youtubers and non-nigerian youtubers first of all is cc yemi like if you are a youtuber and you don't know cc yemi you are sleeping on a long time hello hello So next question who are your favorite youtubers hello hello the list is long we're going to shorten the list i want to mention nigerian youtubers and not nigerian youtubers because i watch all so are you ready are you ready this is about to be a long list <laughs> all right so the first on my list is cc get me like if you know me so well, you expect out to be the first on my list like cc get me if you're a Nigerian YouTuber and you don't know who CCM is, then what are you doing on YouTube? Like, what are you doing on YouTube? CCM is my favorite YouTuber because of CCM. I started YouTube and I got my ground on YouTube. I think my first video of CCM was the one where she made on people on how you can grow your channel. I think how you can start your channel. I think I'll start YouTube. I think that was the video she made. And then I was just about to start my YouTube channel. So yeah, CCM number one. The other person is Dima Umi. I love Dima Umi. Like, who would not love Dima Umi? Like, how can you not love Dima Umi? <laughs> how? Yes, I love Dima Umi. She is, uh, CCM is a lifestyle vlogger and a food vlogger. For those who don't know, why Dima Umi is a, um, she's a beauty vlogger and a lifestyle vlogger too, as well. She is beautiful. Where's the soul beautiful? Dima Umi is beautiful. She does flawless makeups. She's so cute. Like, sometimes I watch her video not because I like not because I want to learn something. I don't know if you understand. Like sometimes maybe a title might not be something that like I can relate to. I don't know if you understand. But I just watch the video because it's Dima Umi. Because it's Dima that is talking. Because it's Dima that is sitting in front of the camera. I watch the video. <laughs> yeah, that's how much I love Dima Umi. I love I love 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 Dima. The next person is Adenike Adebayo Esho. These people I mentioned are Nigerian YouTubers based in Nigeria. Adenike Adebayo Esho. I love Adenike. Let's see if you don't speak on Adenike's videos. Adenike is a movie vlogger. Yeah, she reviews movies a lot and she has produced and created her own movie too. Um, our own series, Kill with Abby, which I watch, which you should go check out. But yeah, Adenike is very, 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 very good at what she does. Like, she's the kind of lady that will tell you. You ask for it and you get it. Like that's I didn't care for you. She does movie review. I always look forward to her movie reviews. Most of my movie reviews are Nigerian movies, like all those cinematic blockbuster movies. That's like the movie she reviews mostly. But she started reviewing Korean dramas too. So she fell in love with K dramas and she started reviewing K dramas as well. But yeah. Um <laughs> She's so good. Like the first thing that will jump at you when you watch a video is her teeth. Like she has a nice set of teeth. So full and yeah, in your face. And she smells a lot. So oh my god, you no seriously, I love Adenike. Like oh 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 alright. I'm I'm being so hyper. But yeah, I do, I do love Adenike. Next person is Jackie, I know. Jackie is a Nigeria. A Nigeria. Please ignore any noise here in the background. You are still innovating this all so yeah. The next person is Jackie I know. Jackie I know is in Nigeria, but she's not based in Nigeria presently. She's in the abroad. But Jackie, I think there's no how you see all these people I'm mentioning. They have personalities that are great. Like there's no how you will watch any of them and you will not love them. There's no how you watch Jackie I know and you will not love Jackie I know. Jackie I know says things like all these people, they are very, very real, which is one of the reasons why I love them. They are very, very real. Like they say things the way it is in their mind. They don't try to code it for you. Jackie I know is one person I love for that. She does makeup, she's a makeup blogger and lifestyle blogger. She had a YouTube channel for herself and then she and her fiance now because she got engaged with recent. <laughs> yeah, she, she and her friends as their own YouTube channel. But Jackie I know is very good. Like and then the way she edits her videos and try to add humor and all of that. Like she's good. When you're good, you are good. Jackie I know is good. So yeah. Um let me see. another person I love is the Ross family. Now this is a couple channel or a family channel because now they have a baby. They have a baby. Baby Naya very cute baby oh my god oh my god naya is so cute and then jamera is so cute as well they're one of the people that actually make me believe you can actually flourish on youtube without makeup like you don't always have to do makeup to flourish on youtube like jamera actually does her youtube videos without makeup so far from what i've watched 
she does her youtube videos are always their youtube videos are always without makeup and it's so nice so cute like they're also cute Jara is so cute and Ja is so cute and Naya is so cute their baby is so cute and she's one of the cutest babies in the world right now and she's so smart so yeah i love your family i love the boss family you're yeah, a young couple but yeah i love them i love the rest family those are see these people are mentioning once i get notification that they upload a video just know your girl is hooked she's gonna gonna have to go and watch it so yeah and the next people so, i have to look at my phone the next person is to do the solution how can you not love to do but when you think about faith marriage and lifestyle the other is the go-to channel so the solution is like she's so good she's also so real she's so sweet she has this cute dimple oh my god and then her husband is so fine like pg if you know um pastor funke adejumo if you know pastor funke adejumo then you know who gominga adejumo is he's a son and he's so cute he's he's into gospel music and it's fine like the family is so cute and then they have a new baby soteria oh my god oh my god these people are cute you guys should go check them out next person is delphinator definitely is a nigerian youtuber as well her name is delphi but her channel name is delphinator she's so good at what she does she does lifestyle stuff currently she's reviewing big brother niger so if you want to get reviews raw reviews on big brother niger Check out Definator because she she does great works. I love Definator. I knew her with this a cap signature. She has this cap that she wears, which is a signature cap. This is I think this Absa cap. She wears it a lot, and she's really good at what she does. I personally I really watch the video is Fisayo Fosudo. is a tech YouTuber. So if you want anything phone and all of that, Fisayo is the go-to guy. He does tech review. Speaking of tech review, I also love Miss Techie. Miss Techie does review and the way she edits her videos. If you've watched, if you've been on my Instagram page, you see a video I tried to like clone. Yeah, make myself into two people. I learned that from Miss Tech. Yes, Miss Tech. Like she's so good. She's so good with the way she edits videos. She tries to make herself. She tries to single herself out from the tech family. As a female, you have to like you understand. Tech family has a lot of guys in it. So for you to prosper as a female, you have to like do something different which she tries to do and she's very beautiful she's very cute she's good at what she does next person is ayo okwe davis this is a couple channel ayo and okwe they are really 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 good is it ayo okwe ayo 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 okwe yes they are really good they have this welcome song for new youtubers that i really really love i think you should go check them out i can't start singing on this video because it's gonna be so long but i really love them they talk about marriage a lot having love they call it love lasting relationship they try to tell you how you can build your marriage they have a very good marriage i think they have two kids last i checked two girls and they are really 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 their family is some it's it's a lovely sight to watch like when they post a new video i try to watch as much as i can the next person is neptune studios this ones this one i discovered recently not so recent but yeah i've been following their series best friend in the world it was best friend in the world that made me discover neptune studios and i really love that series like if you are not watching it go watch it it's like an high school series but it reminds me of things i did in high school and all of that those high school nonsense that we did so yeah go check them out they're really really good now they have been putting us on those things we can't wait for the next episode to drop so yeah the, the last but not the least is Alright, so the last bit, but not the least, is Fari by CC Open. She's a makeup artist. She's very, very good at what she does. And she's so jovial, so fun. Like, I really love her. So, yeah, these are my favorite YouTubers. I have so many, but for now, let's just leave it as that one. Before people come and chase me away from this place. So, yeah, these are my favorite YouTubers. Like, when these people drop a video, I have no choice but to go and watch. <laughs> I have no choice but to go and watch. So, yeah, if I remember any other one, I'll just leave the name right now. On the screen, if I remember any other person I did not mention, the name will be on the screen right now. So, my next, let's go back to the questions. So, now, next question How many boyfriends or girlfriends have you had? All right, all right, stop. <laughs> can we just skip this question, please? Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? All right, can we just skip this question? Can we, can we? You're cool with this, right? You're cool with this, right? All right, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> The next question, please. <laughs> I'm seriously not that bad, though. You guys should not mind me. Jesus. Sorry, fam. 
Next question. Favorite memory from childhood. There will be those days when we used to do Subway. Eh? Subway. If you don't know what Subway is, Subway is, I'll try to see if I can find a picture that describes it. But Subway is where you use something we call in slate or your hand to draw this square box or yeah, it's mostly square box, square box, and then you partition it into like five, six steps, any you want this, and then you can start tray stone and jumping, tray stone, and you don't have to, you must not jump on the point where the stone is. You have to jump into the box without stone, and then you keep jumping. If you mistakenly, if your leg mistakenly enters the box with stone, you're out of the game. And depending on how long you guys draw it, there's some places you can actually jump to so it's actually a very fun game talk about sway talk about um hey um talk about sway talk about um oh the te 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 talk about um um who is in the garden talk about this i can't remember this game tinko 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 yeah okay you know what i think i'm going to do a video of childhood games i played and I'm going to try to do this video with somebody or I might do it alone if I get a friend to do it with me I'll do it with somebody if not I'll do it alone but yeah that's a bit them favorite memories like then I see when we still used to live with neighbors that was so so fun shout out to Ian and Ugo and all the other neighbors that made my childhood fun so yeah 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 <laughs> that's some childhood memories I can never forget next question how would you describe your fashion sense comfy Yes, I love to dress comfortably. Like if I wear something and I am not comfortable in it, but you tell me it is nice and I should go out with it, I will not go out with it because I am not comfortable in it. So yeah, I will describe my fashion sense as comfortable. I wear things that I am comfortable in. Because days when I've tried to wear things because the word says I should wear it, I've regretted my action. So yeah, I love to dress comfortable. I want to, I love to be comfortable in what I'm putting on. So yeah, comfy. Next question. What phone do you have? iOS or Android? Android. Next question. Next question. Tell us one of your bad habits. Um, bad habit will be sucking. I've tried to stop, but it is what it is. I try to be conscious of myself, but sometimes I'm always lost and yeah, it just happens. It's a bad habit. But it is what it is. <sighs> Next question. Three things that upset you. When I am angry and then you are still doing things to make me angry, nothing is as annoying as that. Like you know I am angry, but you are still doing things to make me angry. It is so annoying. That's number one. Number two, repeating what I am saying when I'm angry. My mother does that nonsense a lot. Makes me angry. The third thing is lying when you know I would catch you. Like you know I would catch you that you are lying and you are still lying. Or you know I know that you are lying and you are still lying. Don't try it. Yeah, those TV things upset me. Yeah, other things, but this is said TV. So yeah, let's see if that's TV. Now, okay, uh, um, three things that makes me happy. <laughs> Food, money, and myself. <laughs> Food, money, and myself, please. Next question. Next question. How is your relationship with your parents? So far, they are so nice. Love my parents. We are very cool. We are very cool. Like, they are amazing people. So yeah, our relationship is dope. Like, have you been to my Instagram page? Like, have you seen the videos I made with my parents? Like, have you seen? Have you seen? So yeah, if you are not following me on Instagram and on my social media platform, please follow me. You catch up with my day-to-day -day activities there. Next question. What's on your mind right now? Food, because I'm hungry. And money. <laughs> I don't know who's not telling me I'm not an evil child, I'll take about money a lot. Please! I beg, I need money. Next, <laughs> next question. What's your talent? Talking. I've been talking for a while now. You guys are doing I love talking. Although, which is very funny. I love talking. I call myself a quiet talker too. I love talking, but I listen more than I talk. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, any new person just meeting me will most likely tell you I'm a very quiet person. I'm a very shy person, which I am. But if you've known me for a while, you then ah, I'm a go. She can talk for Africa. She can talk too. So yeah, it depends on my mood, technically. So uh, one word that describes me: red. <laughs> yes, because one minute I am like this, the next minute I'm like that. So yeah, I guess red. So next question: What's your favorite quote? Um. Do to others what you want others to do to you. That's one. Two. 
you only can make yourself happy. Or better still, do things that makes you happy. The world will adjust. Yes. <laughs> Anything that makes you happy, do it. The world will adjust. Yeah, that's one of my favorite quotes. So, next question. Next question. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? Um, I'll call myself in between. I'm in between both. But I'm more of an introvert than an extrovert. Next question. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm actually right-handed, but I really wish I do well with both of them. Next question. Does your name have a special meaning? I did explain that at the beginning of the video, so yes, it does. Next question. If money were no object, what would you get for your next birthday? A camera and good lightning equipment. Yes, I think the certain things I would get for my next birthday if money was not an issue, an issue, an issue. Next question. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Well, I've not lived anywhere apart from Nigeria, so I don't know. But I would really love to visit some places like Dubai, New York, UK, Canada, France. Yeah, a lot of places I would really want to visit, but I'm not sure I would want to live in those places. I would just want to like go there. Sorry. I'd love to go there for us, take nice pictures, explore the city and all of that, and then come back to my house, Nigeria. Because I feel like Nigeria, whether, whether, whether I like it or not, is home for me. No place like home. So I don't know. This might change. But yeah, for now, that's how I feel. Next question. What's your favorite thing to have for breakfast? Anything my mind is craving. Next question. What's your favorite gadget? My phone. Next question. What's your longest relationship so far? The one I lasted, that lasted, sorry, the one that lasted over a year. So, 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 I think that's the end of the Q&A. A big thank you to as many who sent me questions. If you want to know any other thing about me, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Please, you guys should not mind my background. This is where I'm going to be for the next couple of months, except things change. So, you guys should please just bear with me, manage this background with me. And yeah, if you love this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps me know you love it. Make sure you leave me a comment, anything you agree with. <laughs> if you have any contrary opinion to things about myself, let me know in the comment section. And if you have any other question, let me know in the comment section. Please make sure you subscribe. If you watch this video to this point and don't subscribe, please why? Please why? Help my market, please. If you are close to 100 subscribers, so please hit the subscribe button down below and the very website is so you stay notified. And yeah, I think that's all. Follow me on my social media platform. It just will be in the strong box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh yeah, 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 eh, 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 eh. I've not eaten, but I shout this video for you guys. So you guys should please compliment me by subscribing. Please, thank you. Please, guys, you guys should please subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Here we go. Yeah, you. Bye. <laughs>